Hello, my name is Ulm Wolfgram, and I'd like to talk to you about some research I conducted with the Air Force Research Laboratory in the summer of 2021, when I modeled and simulated artificial atoms, also known as quantum dots. Quantum dots are semiconductor nanocrystals. And what that means is nanocrystals, like any other crystal, are simply a grown collection of atoms. What's unique about nanocrystals is that they operate under the properties of quantum physics, so they can only absorb and emit radiation at discrete wavelengths. On the other hand, bulk semiconductor materials, materials that you're all familiar with in your cell phone or solar panels or computer microchips, have a continuous spectrum of possible energy states, so they can absorb and emit radiation at relatively any and all wavelengths. At the Air Force Research Laboratory, I utilize the tool Quantum Dot Lab, offered by nanohub.org. NanoHub is an open source platform for nanotechnology research. Within the Quantum Dot Lab, I looked at shape, size, and material composition, and how each of those three parameters affects wave function confinement, which then affects the emission spectrum. Within this process, I modeled five different atomic configurations, two worthy of mentioning cubic and conic. Having different geometries elicits a different wave function confinement, which then grants a different emission spectrum. This is due to the distorted wave function of the conic quantum dot, as seen here. What you're seeing here is the visualization of the electron cloud distribution, as given by the model solution to Schrodinger's equation. In addition to atomic configuration, I also modeled how the size of a quantum dot affects its emission spectrum. For instance, as you increase the size of a quantum dot, what is generally thought is that its emission spectrum would shift. But the modeling shows that its emission spectrum begins to resemble the continuous emission spectrum of a bulk semiconductor. The critical takeaway of my research is that the modeling shows that a researcher has to be mindful of the nanocrystal that is grown, because as the size of a quantum dot increases, its quantum behavior degrades. My hope is that these results can be used to enhance the development of better detectors and sensors for the Air Force. Okay.